All right, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy neck angle for your cigar box guitars. It's a totally original idea that I came up with myself, and it's very simple. Um, I don't know how, it, you know, everyone has a different way of bracing their necks inside the box. I, I like to have a solid brace for my necks to sit on. I don't like no space in under. So I'll generally cut off a section of a neck, just a common one and a half by three quarter inch neck. And I start off with that. Kind of got lucky with this box here because it just pretty much flushes up with the uh, bottom of my neck notch. If it was any deeper, you might have to cut off a section of a fretboard or a 1 16th piece of thick piece of wood or a 1 8th just build it up until you have the proper height. Um, you know basically and of course you know I've already got the notch cut out for my lid. It's a little loose because I'm fixing to show you why. <coughs> Um, basically all you have to do, and it's this simple, run down to Lowe's or Home Depot and get you a pack of good old Nielsen wood shims. <clears throat> That's right. They have two different sizes. I can't remember if the other size is a, is shorter or longer, but I think these are 10 or 11 or 10 to 12 inches. I don't remember. But, I've already got one cut off here. Every one of them will be almost a perfect one degree angle. And, yeah, it's that simple. So, what I'm going to do here is just, I've already cut this off. You want to cut it off to flush it with the outside edge of your box. You don't want it on the inside. You want to make sure that the full top piece of this shin is coming out so your neck lays on it only and um, yeah that's it and when you put your neck in here like this you're going to have a awesome perfect one degree angle neck I don't know if y'all can see there's an angle on that but there is and when you lay, you can, you know, some people like to have the fretboard laying over a little bit or just put it right there in case you want to open the uh, lid. Um, but either way, you're going to have a one degree angle on there now. And I want to tell you right now, it, if you're using the little metal uh, hard tail, little three or four string bridges, you know, like a common strat fender strap bridge or telly uh, you don't need an angle on your necks there's a reason fender has never put an angle on their necks there's no reason to with a flat hardtail bridge because it's flat Gibson style guitars on the other hand they have arch tops on their bodies and they have raised bridges like an AVR bridge or a yeah, you know, and you can raise them up and down. And to compensate for the arch top of that guitar, you need an angle on the neck. That's why they you can do that. Um, but, and another thing, if you need more than a one degree, just put two of these together. It'll make two degrees. But I found if you... And there's no reason you would need more than a two degree angle, but if you needed to put, when you, when you start putting th <clears throat> three on there, like for a three degree angle, it kind of gets off. It starts getting a little screwy. You can get a three degree, it might be a turn into a four, I don't know. But I don't ever put more than two, and I've never even put two. I just put one. Like I said, these Nielsen wood shims, and there's a bunch of them in there, so they're going to last for a while. Unless you're building like 
you know that many a week you're gonna they're gonna last for a while but yeah just make sure you cut it off and flush it with the edge of your box and again you know I just glue all that down I like a good solid brace for my necks and and I you know I've compensated the slot the depth of the uh, notch for my lid and I'll hold this down here you know that's it ain't going nowhere is there's no moving around or anything just make sure your notch is good and tight but yeah so again you lay that fretboard on there well anyway. <laughs> yeah I hope you can see that but there's a nice angle on that now and that's all you have to do to make a really quick and simple angle for your CBG necks all right I hope y'all enjoy this and it helps out so yeah we'll see you next time